Alright guys, Diecast Mania here with another video, and today we're going to be doing a model review of the Universal Hobbies 150th scale Komatsu D155AX-7 bulldozer. Comes in the standard Komatsu branded box. It is twist tied down to a display plate in several places. This model was first introduced in 2012 and is still for sale up to this date in many retailers. This model is made out of the usual die cast in resin. Before we get started with the review, the D155 is what Komatsu likes to call a Sigma Dozer. Where that comes from is the blade design, which when you look at it down from the top, it is said to resemble the Greek letter Sigma. So the blade design features a 15% increase in production up from the standard semi-U blade option. Some of the benefits are the ability to move greater soil with less power and the fact that the blade is held closer to the tractor to allow better visibility during operation. Also the ripper has two cylinders versus the traditional four to allow better visibility during ripping. The D-155 is powered by Komatsu SAA6D140E-5 diesel engine and has 360 horsepower. And the dozer has an operating weight of around 42 tons. We're going to start off with the functionality of the dozer. The tracks are of the standard hook and loop variety and are spring tensioned. The top carrier rollers actually move as well. The blade is able to lift to a decent extent and is able to lower, although it cannot lower too much below the grade level. This is the maximum extent. The cylinders are actually stiff enough to hold the blade in any position and unfortunately the blade cannot angle as it is all cast into one main piece and the cylinders that would operate the blade tilt on the real machine are actually just solid pieces of resin that do not function. The ripper functionality on this model is actually quite poor. It is not really able to fold up out of the way and it is actually kind of loose. This is the extent of the positions you can set it in while it is up and this is the highest you can set the ripper. The ripper itself is not really able to go below grade level either, as you can see. And again, the posability of the ripper is very limited, possibly due to poor model engineering. It should also be known that the three ripper shanks are non-adjustable. They are casted in one piece with the ripper frame. One notable feature on this model is its relatively high level of detail, and it can be seen on parts like the undercarriage where you can see the all the bogies are actually cast very crisply all the bolt detailing on the final drives and even the detailing on the track pads themselves and the bolt seals around the housing on the undercarriage and the underpan has its share of bolt detailing as well even the simulated hydraulic rams for the blade tilt are actually fairly detailed with the handrail on the top the textured surfaces and the highlighted silver for the hydraulics. The main blade hydraulics actually have very nice plastic pipe lining with all the accurate shaping. The connection points for the hydraulic lines are actually painted silver and the rubber lines are actually quite nice looking and look quite authentic. The work lights on this model actually have a nice inset silver painted surface that is actually textured to simulate the uh, LEDs I believe and the Komatsu badging on the grill is painted in silver. The grill has some nice indents as well and the blade has a good amount of bolt detailing and the guard on the top is actually cut through you can see the Sigma shape on the blade is accurately represented. On both sides of the dozer you can see the fine pad printed mesh for the vents on the side as well as the Komatsu graphics and the fine grab rails. The exhaust and air intake look fine as well. On the cab you can actually see the very nicely replicated work lights all around. The very small Komatsu graphic that looks very sharp 
nicely highlighted silver handle for the door and the windshield wipers all around as well as the nice grab rail detailing throughout and the various finely detailed refueling caps. All the paintwork and graphics on this model look very sharp. On the back of the cab you can see where it says Komatsu up there and yet another finely detailed windshield wiper. Not sure if you can see it but the seat actually says Komatsu on it and all the black window trim is replicated nicely. It should also be noted that most of the connections on this model are actually achieved through screws so it can be disassembled or transported if you would like and these screws are painted so it's not too obtrusive but if you look closely you can still see that there are in fact screw heads which to some might be bothersome and now on to the ripper as you can see more screw heads and as we can see there is a fair bit of detail on the ripper shanks themselves and the holes at the top the pins are actually drilled through. The hydraulics here are resin and the color match is decent but they are a little bit sloppy looking in terms of paint application. The hydraulic lines are rubber and the connection points are highlighted in silver like all the rest of them. As you can see down here some of the casting isn't quite as cleaned up as it should be so it has some kind of rough edges around some parts of the ripper frame. This model actually feels quite solidly built for a Universal Hobbies model and if you handle it correctly nothing will really break on you. There are no real places of concern on this model and it actually has quite a hefty weight. Now if you're looking for a medium sized crawler dozer and are willing to sacrifice some functionality for the detail, then this is a very worthwhile addition to your collection. Anyway, thanks for watching, have a great day.